Good morning to you on this Tuesday morning. We continue our consideration of Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, today from verses 21 to 25. And he was saying to them, A lamp is not bought to be put under a basket, is it? Or under a bed? It is not bought, is it not bought to be put on the lampstand? For nothing is hidden except to be revealed, nor has anything been secret, but that it would come to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. And he was saying to them, Take care what you listen to. By your standard of measure it will be measured to you, and more will be given you besides. For whoever has, to him more shall be given, and whoever does not have, even what he has, shall be taken away from him. So Jesus here is really uh, explaining what he's doing with the parables. He's bringing light. He's teaching them about the kingdom of God. And he's saying this message is not to be tucked away. This message is to be spread. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says, No one takes a lamp and sticks it under a bushel, but he puts it in the lampstand so that it shines and everybody can see it. And he says, So let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Nothing is hidden that won't be revealed. Nothing is secret that won't come to light. Everything comes to light in the presence of God's light. And then he gives us, a, again, this warning. Take care what you listen to. By your standard of measure, it will be measured to you, and more will be given to you besides. For whoever has, to him more shall be given. And whoever does not have, even what he has shall be taken away from him. So be careful what you listen to. Be careful not to judge other people. Remember where the Bible tells us not to judge others because of the, the standard of judgment that we use will be used against us. And Jesus is saying here, it may be even more so. The standard of measure you use will be measured to you. There is a popular saying, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So don't judge others so that you will not be judged. Spread love, you will receive love in return. Whoever has to him more shall be given. Whoever does not have, even what he has shall be taken away from him. And this is really in regard to the kingdom of God. Whoever has Jesus will receive more. Whoever rejects him and does not have him will lose everything that they have. If we amount our treasures here on earth, have nothing in heaven, then ultimately we lose the lot. If we store up treasures for ourselves in heaven, then we have eternal treasure. If we have the Lord Jesus Christ, we have everything we need, and He continues to give us more and more, that we can say along with David, My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's now join together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before You in the precious name of Jesus, Your Son and our Lord. We thank You for this new day. We thank You, Lord, for Your mercies that are new every morning. We thank you for your teaching. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, that we have the Holy Spirit who empowers your word and who makes it come to life in our lives, who teaches us. May we be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the light. We thank you that you've taken us out of the darkness and placed us into the light. And so we pray for those souls that are still in darkness, that are still in bondage. Lord, would you set them free? Would today be the day they turn to you? Today would be the day they understand that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the place where we live. We thank you and we pray for our authorities and all who are over us that you would, Lord, just give them wisdom and understanding. Help them, Lord, to uh, rule and to uh, do their work and execute their jobs faithfully. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are being persecuted. We pray for those in difficulty. We pray for those in war. We think of the Ukraine and we pray for an end to this war. We pray for those who have suffered under natural disasters in, in many and various places. Lord, have mercy. We commit to your care, Lord, the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray, Lord, for those who care for them and we thank you for them. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, be with those who are mourning. And we ask that you would comfort them with the peace that only you can give. We do pray for those hearts that don't know you, Lord, that they would open to you today. We pray, Lord, that they would understand. Heavenly Father, we thank you, bless you, and praise you. Often, Jesus, you said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. 
May we have ears to hear. May we be always tuned into you. May we seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, knowing that everything else will be added unto us. Thank you for that. Thank you that you provide for all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the marvels of nature. We thank you for these birds that are singing. We thank you, Lord, and we join our voices with their voices in proclaiming the glory of the Lord and proclaiming that you are God, holy, 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 worthy of all honor and praise. And now, Lord, we come to you, we surrender to you, and we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.